Okay, so I'm back out here in the barn again. I'm going to do a quick oil change on this uh, 404 International and hopefully this will be valuable to somebody. I couldn't find the exact model oil change on YouTube. So, so the oil pan is directly underneath the engine block so you can get to it from either side. I'm over on the left side. Here's the pan itself right there. So there's a bolt right here to drain the oil pan. So the oil is draining out. So while we're letting this oil drain, I'm gonna go around here and take off and change the filter. Okay, so here's the oil filter. This is on the right hand side of the tractor if you were sitting on it. And this is a cartridge filter. So the first thing you need to do is loosen this bolt. Here's the filter. This is a cartridge filter. Okay, so the perimeter of this oil manifold is pretty gunked up. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up real good first before I put on the new filter. Okay, so that looks a lot better. I'm going to put the new filter in. Okay. So, just a second. I can't forget, these things have a little... These things have a little o-ring and the o-ring goes right there and the o-ring was missing when I took the old one off. I'm supposed to lube these up a little bit first. I just used a little clean motor oil to lube up this a ring with. I'm just going to replace the filter. Place the cover. Bolt back in. I'm using this national chain brand high mileage 5w30 see how this does and it looks like it's right on the full level tighten this down now let's crank her up. And we've got a leak. And maybe 
maybe the reason why it wasn't there in the first place. I removed the filter cover, took off the o-ring, replaced the filter cap. After that, it sealed up. <laughs> 